Hi, it's Vicky here and today I have a quick video for you discussing a very common issue. So I get a lot of comments and uh, emails about sticky original pages and uh, I am going to show you what uh, you can do today. So you can see that in my latest art journal I never ever use the elastic. So when you put the elastic it uh, actually forces the pages to stick together. So even if they don't want to they will after a while. I never use the elastic and I tend to leave my uh, book standing like this on the shelf. So it actually uh, has time to dry even more and uh, I also like to keep uh, the pages open so it actually decorates my room, my craft room when it's uh, just standing on the shelf. Most of my art journal pages do not stick at all, but uh, I get uh, so many questions from you and uh, I have a few issues in uh, some of my pages. After discussing this issue with other crafters, I think we have come to the conclusion that it has to do with uh, temperature and how dry or uh, warm the weather is where you live. But mediums do make uh, this issue even uh, worse, like uh, this where I have those droplets out of, uh, made out of uh, glossy accents and this is kind of sticky. I will show you how I overcome this uh, issue. Now on uh, one of my other journals, I don't really have um, sticky pages, but uh, I will show you which mediums do stick together. Also at this stage I need to say that I don't have experience with Mod Podge since I never use it. I prefer using uh, gel medium and uh, that is uh, why I cannot um, say my opinion about that. So if you are using Mod Podge and uh, you have any kind of experience with it, just leave a comment below since this is going to help others who use Mod Podge and they are trying to find an answer. Now as you can see this page was sticky enough and uh, that was because I used some kind of modeling paste or embossing paste, I cannot remember what it, exactly it was. Now this page is kind of sticky and that's again where I have this uh, embossing paste. This is uh, quite sticky as well and that's because I have the um, uh, glossy accents over those uh, letters. So actually in my case I don't uh, get any stickiness out of colors or out of uh, my gel medium but I do get a kind of a sticky issue where I use uh, glossy accents or uh, modeling paste. In this art journal I do have some stickiness in this page because of uh, the modeling paste as well as the crackle paint that I have covered those uh, chipboard letters and you can see it even transferred uh, the color on the other page. So today I am going to show you four different products that uh, you can choose, any of them, and uh, it will help a lot on uh, the sticky pages issue. I have used them all on different pages on my latest art journal over um, the glossy accents and the modeling paste and uh, my pages do not stick at all, so I'm really happy with the results. They are all non-toxic and acid-free and they actually are made for uh, artists, so they are pretty safe to use on your projects. I have two jars of uh, cold wax here, one is by Gamblin and the other one is by Dorlands and I also have two micro glazes, one is by Ranger and another one is by Judikin. What is great about those products is that not only they provide a non-sticky effect but they also uh, make your pages waterproof. So I'm going to open up the jars so you can see how they look. They do look white, but once you apply them on the page, you will see that they are totally transparent. Those uh, two are uh, made out of um, bee wax and uh, these are kind of um, Vaseline, I would say, and uh, they even smell uh, the same. So I'm going to open up both of them and I'm going to apply all of them so you can see how easy they are to apply and uh, what effect they give on your page. To start I am going to use uh, my Distress Ink which is uh, water soluble, that means it reacts with water and I am going to stamp this uh, butterfly stamp on uh, my one of my manila tags. I am doing so just uh, to show you the effect once you spray it with water. I am going to spray it now and you can see how it uh, moves the color. 
So now I am going to do the same process on a different uh, tag and uh, I am going to stamp uh, the butterflies four times with the same ink and then I am going to apply all over uh, with each one of those tags a different medium so we can see how it reacts with water you will be able to see how easy they are to apply and uh, you will see the final uh, result of how shiny each of the tags uh, gets First I am applying uh, gambling wax, this is very soft and very easy to apply and uh, a little goes a long way, I haven't added too much and uh, you can go even uh, heavier with it. You can also buff it with uh, a piece of cloth. It does not uh, leave your tag super shiny, although it does have a very slight uh, shine on it, but at the same time it's very slippery, which is what we want, since uh, once uh, you have that uh, slippery effect, it will not stick one page on another. Now I am doing the same process with uh, Dorland's wax. This is pretty much the same, it's not as uh, soft as uh, the gambling wax, but uh, it has the exact same effect, it's easy to apply, it leaves the same shine as uh, the first tag and uh, it's uh, also easy to buff it with a piece of uh, cloth. I am moving on to microglazes. These are actually products that are made for waterproofing but after using them on a couple of projects I have also found that they also help that uh, sticky page problem. They are also easy to apply, but they are not as soft as uh, the waxes and uh, they feel and smell uh, like Vaseline. I am applying them all over the butterflies again and again you can buff them with a piece of cloth and you will see that uh, once I am finished I am going to have the same uh, sign pretty much on each and every one of those products. But uh, waxes are uh, so much softer and so easier to apply. And uh, I really have to say that uh, using the waxes really made uh, the surface uh, more slippery than uh, what uh, the microglaze did on the page. And since I am making this demo, let's check how these products react with water. I am going to heavily spray all over the butterflies and uh, let uh, the water stay for a while. So we can see how they perform on uh, waterproofing. So you can see that uh, the water does not absorb on uh, the tag in all four cases and uh, it stays as uh, little drops on top. So this means that uh, it actually made uh, the image waterproof. I can get uh, a little bit of um, the color out. You can see that those droplets are now colored, but uh, you don't get as much of a smudge as you would get if it wasn't uh, covered with uh, this medium. So to conclude, I would say that both waxes are great for making your surface slippery and at the same time they work great for waterproofing, while the microglazes do make uh, a, a slippery surface, which will uh, certainly help on uh, reducing the problem with sticky pages. But uh, if you have a heavy stickiness, I, I would suggest using uh, the wax. Now. On the other hand, microglazes work uh, better on waterproofing, so I would get uh, one of each uh, category, one for the, from the waxes and uh, one product from the microglazes, but if you have to get only one of them, then I would go with the wax, and that's because you can uh, reduce the sticky problem once and for all, and uh, at the same time, if you want to make a project waterproof, you can go heavily with the wax and you will get great results. And here you can see how I apply my wax on uh, my pages. I can uh, go all over the whole page if I want to, or I can just uh, go over the areas that I think that they are going to stick. And of course you can apply it with your fingers or with a piece of cloth. Just below the video on uh, YouTube as well as on my blog, you will find links to all those four products that I have used today. I have also made sure to link to multiple online stores so you can uh, go ahead and check uh, out the prices and decide from where you want to buy them. I hope this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. If you need art journal inspiration here are two videos that I made a while ago. You can click on any of those two videos but if you are watching from a mobile device then you can find links to those videos just below in the description area or you can click the info card that just popped on your screen. Thank you all for watching!